Steve Elliott here. Uh, I'm going to have a go at the Inktober challenge. I've been thinking about it all month and I'm sort of umming and ahhing whether I should do it. Um, there's a side of me that is not very good at um, commitment and doing something every day. So I've thought about it long and hard. And at the end of day one, <clears throat> at 9 p.m., I decided I want to do it. So I thought, okay, let's get cracking. I've got to do this. So I um, went up to my studio, pulled out a bottle of Indian ink and a sable brush and spent about an hour drawing uh, my first day's effort. And I was really pleased with that. So and I, and I enjoyed it because I don't get a chance to do a lot of um drawing with traditional media I'm spending most of my time on uh, digital painting at the minute so it was really refreshing to uh, get a, a brush out and have a go at drawing with it also made me realize how rusty I'm getting and I need to put in some practice so I think I'm going to enjoy this this challenge um, I recorded uh, day two's effort which is today's uh, drawing and um, I hope you, you're going to enjoy that. I, I don't imagine for one minute I'm going to be able to record every single video for the next month. Um, that's really unrealistic. I'd like to but I don't think I, I, I will have the time to do that. Uh, but if you want to follow me and see what I'm drawing every day um, I'm going to be posting on Instagram and my name on Instagram is Steve the Scribbler. Um, I'll put a link down below uh, so you can get to it. And also, uh, if you're on Twitter, you can find me as Steve Elliott 01. I'm posting on there as well. And on Facebook, and that's Steve Elliott Artist. Um, so, what was I going to draw? I know there is an official list of words that you can use to sort of give you an idea of what you want to paint and you can follow that every day, but uh, for me, I think that would open up an all new can, can of worms. For example, I think the first word for day one is swift, so I'd be thinking, swift, swift, right, okay, what can I do, what can I do? And I would spend maybe an hour and a half wondering what I could paint related to the word swift. So I think I'm much better at just um, winging it and coming and, and drawing whatever pops into my head on a particular day. So I definitely won't be following um, that list. Although having said that, there might be the odd day when I look at it and think, oh yeah, that word does inspire me, it gives me an idea. But I, I don't think I will be following it at all, probably. Again, I spent quite a bit of time pondering ideas because I suppose the idea of Inktober is you're going to improve at something, you're going to get better at something and most of my work if you're following the channel you'll realise is um, landscapes and some portrait work I do a fair few commissions in, in portraits but I like painting landscapes but I'd also like to get into sort of fantasy art and dragons and things like that so I thought I could spend a month drawing um, dragons and hopefully at the end of the month I'd be a lot better and more skilled at just bashing out a dragon so um, that is something I'd like to do but last night at nine o'clock I didn't really have the um, inclination I suppose I was getting a bit tired the inclination to start um, looking at source material and getting ideas for dragons because I won't be able to do it out of my head I've got to get some some ideas of um, source material to to get me started with that so I might be doing a few dragons but I've started off with something fairly simple to ease in uh, ease me in on it this drawing today uh, is with Indian ink and a watercolor sable brush I've, I like to draw with a paintbrush and I've done quite a few watercolours in the past where I've done an ink drawing with the, the brush and 
get really strong solid black lines and then put a color wash over the top of that and um, I enjoy doing that so I thought that's something I like doing I'm gonna give it a go and I'll I'll use that uh, the drawing I did yesterday was just totally done with the brush but today I felt it needed something else so I got some red Indian ink and colored in the uh, flower that the butterfly is sitting on and I used so as well as the Indian ink and the sable brush which is a number five brush if you're interested I used a Faber Castell uh, number uh, no medium medium liner I used a Rotring fine liner 0.3 I think it was but I've had trouble with that because i would left it for a fair few years in a cupboard and it had got totally clogged up so I had to degunk it and, and soak it and take it to pieces and and, then, and although the ink is flowing through it it did give me a few problems and it wasn't um, perfect so I sort of cast that, that to one side and um, I used a white lining pen as well um, that is a Signo Broad white liner and I, th I think I also used a Sharpie um, just to crash in a bit more black at the end uh, you'll, you'll see that I sort of spoilt it a little bit with the lining in so I went back over it uh, with a sharpie, mm. uh, bit grim really, but never mind. It all went quite well. So most of my work is digital. You never really get to see me or or my hands or anything like that. So in this drawing, you will see, uh, in fact, that I do have a favourite jumper, a sort of threadbare uh, cardigan that I like to wear. Uh, keeps me nice and warm as the uh, colder days are coming. I suppose like a lot of blokes don't like throwing things away and I've had this this jumper for years and I looked at the video and I thought oh dear Steve you could have probably uh, put a better jumper on that to make the video but hey I was comfy so there you go.
it. That's all I've got for you this time. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please check out some of the other videos. Uh, I am a traditional artist, but this channel is really about digital painting. It's about my transition from traditional artist to digital artist, and I'm documenting that process as I explore new software and new techniques, and it would be great to be able to share it with you guys.